everyone, how are you today, whatever day this may be? Um, probably going to be putting these up on Saturdays when I leave. Um, as you can see, uh, this is a book I got a few weeks ago. I did an unboxing for it, probably about a month ago, month and a half, called The Tribulation Task Force. It, it is a Christian comic book by a Christian creator. And I have yet to read it, and I've been waiting to do this video for this. So... Hopefully you do enjoy this. Um, this is a chromium cover, as you can, may or may not be able to tell. I um, think I should be able to do this in one sitting. Hopefully everybody watching will enjoy this. So, let's see. Uh, it is produced by Starcross Comics. This is issue zero. And it has a $5 US dollar retail value. And it's rated T for teen. It is produced by Bill Roop. Rap Roop. I asked, actually had him on a few months ago interviewing him about this project. So if you look under, if you go into my uh, the playlist and find the one where I've interviewed people, I forget what it's called offhand, you can find that interview. Uh, okay, so, um, Prelude, Splash Art, is done by Rolly Ak Akabar, uh, pages 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, and 4, that's the last Splash Art, pages 1, 3, and 4 are Amar Abelin, uh, page 2 is Jerbel Cruz and Gilbert Montes, History Lesson, Splash Art, by uh, Ruli Akabar, art again by Lewis Vieira, Dead Heat, Splash Art by Bill Marunium, Marumum, art by Ruli Akbar, colors by Peria Peladia, letters by Alex uh, Schirkenbach. Uh, and these are the different covers who they're done by and again it was created and written by Bill Roop and you can he has a website Grok Comics that's G-R-O-K Comics dot com so on with the comic book soon world leaders are still perplexed by the sudden mass disappearances of people around the globe. World systems are currently in chaos. Religious leaders have de 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 debunked the so-called Christian rapture theory. If it were true that that if it were true that all of the Christians were taken by by God to heaven. Then, then, well, then, why would I still be here? Uh, the United Nations was assembled. Has was assembled. Uh, has was assembled and an emergency security council meeting with mayor major world leaders we now go live to the conference i humbly uh, i humbly accept the un's nomination as world leader together we will usher in an age of peace and security a new world order a united religion this will be mankind's golden age. The Tribulation Task Force Prelude Chapter Zero My name is Hector Costello and Grok, a.k.a. Grok. Welcome to the last age of heroes. Okay. 
showing a bunch of images I was appointed by I was appointed by none other than God himself to seek out the next generation of heroes I know sounds crazy right God revealed to me that within the next few years humanity's history radically changes so he appointed me to assemble a team of heroes to rescue the Apostle John who apparently never died I know it took me a minute to process process that too John is currently being held in a Vatican chamber so that mission should be no problem at all laugh out loud see those guys over there that's the team I assemble they are tasked with holding back the independent impending wave of evil and deception until the appointed time those guys were fighting there there they are what the world are calling celebrity supers but for some reason the public can't see them for who they really are the true bad guys They were assembled by Apollyon, the great leader. All of them empowered with satanic powers to rush, push forward the great tribulation. Watch, they were, which they refer to as the time of great peace, safety, and tolerance. Utterly evil, but the true but the general public thinks they are just the greatest. This is not going to be easy. History lesson. Okay, I'm not sure what this is here, but looks pretty neat. Um, okay, I guess that's the splash page for this. The Age of Heroes. The current Age of Heroes is nothing new. There, there have been, been brave and driven people who have emerged throughout history to fight those who couldn't fight for themselves. In an Old Testament, in an old world, a young David stands to fight the bully Nephilim Goliath. This ancient world also had produced heroes like the mighty Samson, whose inhuman strength was, unri was unrivaled. In Rome, the Crusaders risked, the Crusader risked his life to defend the early Christians, believers who were persecuted by, all, by an evil emperor. In more modern times, brave new uh, in modern in more modern times, brave new brave men rose up to fight for justice in the one in in one of the world's most difficult periods. The friends of justice risked their lives to fight the emergent force of hatred, the Nazis. At the conclusion of the war, many of the heroes, wounded by their horrors they experienced, retired. And the first major age of heroes was over. 
sporadic heroes re appeared from time to time to assist their communities. But none of them had the same cultural impact as the Friends of Justice. That is, that was until recently when the United Nations presented a new leader called Apollyon and his fraternity of heroes. The Watchers, but something is different about these heroes. Something, dare I say, sinister. And this is where I enter the story. God had granted me the power to see, seek out and equip the last generation of heroes. And with the help of my friends, expose the evil of the Watchers. We are not just a team of heroes. We are the Society of Righteousness, Righteous Warriors. We are the Tribulation Task Force. And it looks like we're started a revolution. Welcome to the last age of heroes. Cool. Um, so I'm going to end this here. I know it's not long, but hey. Uh, and next Saturday there will be another. I will do the next, the last story, which is Dead Heat. So you got two stories there. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. I think this is a good spot to stop. So remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification button, share, and of course comment. And we will see you whenever I put up my next video. And stay tuned next week for the rest of this. Thank you very much for tuning in.